This slide demonstrates how the Oliver Pro platform dashboard can assist you. Here, we have a dynamic graph that displays each player's performance during the game or training session, including metrics such as distance covered, activity time, top speed, and even power kicks. There are also comparisons of the session's averages. shown here in pink, and with the team's recent averages. Additionally, we can analyze accelerations, decelerations, activity time, and average ball kicks from previous games versus this game for each player. One key feature is this panel where you can edit and select specific metrics and view preset or customized thresholds for high-intensity runs and max intensity. Let's continue our platform tour, focusing now on the timeline. This button here allows you to see metrics per minute, a feature that's especially useful during training sessions. For example, in session 161, by selecting metrics per minute, we can quickly see what's been happening throughout the session. You can even isolate specific segments like a 5v5 conservation drill or a wave drill and track those periods. Below, we see all the data panels from the session, which we can download, customize, and compare by speed or acceleration intensity. This helps generate a task-by-task -task report showing different intensity zones for distance, acceleration, and peak speed during specific drills, helping us plan improvements for future sessions. Now let's explore how the Team Profile tab in Oliver can help with microcycle analysis. For example, we can select a previous week of training, compare sessions with match performance, and analyze key metrics like distance per minute, total distance, acceleration intensity, and speed intensity. This helps us see if our weekly structure matched the demands of the weekend match. We can also filter by player positions or individuals to see how they've worked across the microcycle. For instance, during a weekend match, if the top speed reached was 20.1 miles per hour, we can check if we trained at similar intensities during the week. This team profile gives you detailed insights into how training translates into match day performance, allowing you to fine tune strategies for future sessions. In this section, we'll explore how the player profile view can help you. We'll use Jordi Mendez as an example from a match. First, we can see his heat map showing his movement throughout the game, along with his load control, comparing his intensity and match volume against his usual performance. This helps assess how the player performed, especially regarding external load and how fatigued he was at the end of the match, including neuromuscular and muscular fatigue from accelerations and decelerations. Next, we can view the player's ball load during high-intensity sprints, total distance covered, and his external load history over the past three weeks giving us a clear picture of his load management, which in this case stands at 0.93. It's important to note that players can access their metrics via the mobile app, which is easy to use. They can also record their RPE directly from the app. Now, let's dive deeper into the player's profile using a spider chart. Here, we can track progress throughout the season. For example, we could look at the last two weeks and analyze the number of accelerations, their intensity, and timing, as well as other factors like maximum speed and how it has evolved. Additionally, we can make team comparisons. For instance, we can compare Jordi Mendez with Genis Blasco or Sergio Castillo, analyzing how each player is performing in relation to the others. These insights allow us to monitor player progress over time, and as you can see, it's all very user-friendly. Let's continue with the platform tour focusing now on the injury profile and how it helps us. This section gives us a clear view of each player's physical condition. For example, after a match yesterday, we can track their progress over time. If today's session involves maximum or high-intensity sprints, by clicking here and filtering by sprint intensity, we can plan more effectively, identifying which players need more or fewer repetitions, or who should avoid the exercise entirely. This helps us make informed decisions during the session. The injury profile also allows us to manage injuries. For instance, if a player like Ernest or Sergi Vives has an injury, we can log it here, detailing how it occurred.
Once an injury is logged, we can monitor the player's recovery, seeing what percentage of their return to play target they've reached. In this example, they are at 89%, meaning they're not fully ready to rejoin group training. Rehabilitation is ongoing, reducing the risk of range injury. In essence, the injury profile is user-friendly and provides crucial information for optimizing training sessions.